All right, doing another, oops, kicking the camera. Um, doing another box documentation. This is box number four. And this one is going to be Batman heavy. Because this is one that I had all of the B books in, so it's mostly Batman. But we'll start here with this guy. The Bounce, number one. Blackest Night, number two. Birthright, number one. Okay. Here is Blackest Night, Tales of the Core, number one. Tales of the Corpse. Batman and Robin, number 19. Brightest Day, number 13. The Brightest Day. Here's Brightest Day, number 12. Berserker number two. Berserker number one. Here's another The Bounce. Bought two of those back in the day. Thinking it might be something. Batman number 100. That is a big square bound book. Hmm. The Bounce. Okay. Here is a book. Here's Batman 105. That was purchased from Midtown Comics. Okay. This one's also Midtown Comics. Batman 101. Okay. Here is Batman number 50. <clears throat> Batman number one. Current series. And I actually have two of those. There's the second one. Here is Black Panther number three, second print. First cover appearance of Tozen. <clears throat> okay, here is Black Panther number three, the uh, Joe Jusco variant. Jusco, whatever. I actually have two of these. Cool book. Here's the second one of those. It's upside down. Okay. Here we have Black Panther number 
four. This is a variant cover. I have two of these. That's a cool cover. And here's this, here's this one. Second one of that cover. And I have number four of the regular cover. I think I have three of these. Maybe. <clears throat> one. Two. Just the two. We have Black Panther number 166. Okay. And here we have Batman 112. Batman. Batman 122. And it looks like I have two of these. <clears throat> 122 and 122. Okay. Okay. Here's Black Panther number five. And I know I have a handful of these. I have like four of them, I think. Maybe five. One. Here's two. The second one. Okay. Now I got this buck head number one. Here is Batgirls number four. Okay. Black Panther number one. I don't think this is current series. No, that's Ta-Nehisi Ta Coates. No, that is not current series. This, however, is current series Black Panther number one. Okay. Here is Black Panther number two. And we seem to be dancing all around Black Panther number three, you know, the big one. First appearance of Tozen. I did have the second print and the Jusco variant. We have yet to run into any possible number th three cover A's. Here is Black Widow number one from Marvel Now era. Here is Black Panther number 13, current or um, most recent series. I don't know if it's still going. Okay. Here is number 12, Black Panther. Black Widow, sorry. Not Black Panther. Black Widow. 15, I have two of these, that's the first, here's the second, okay, and here is number 14, Black Widow, I enjoyed this run by Kelly Thompson. <clears throat> okay, here we have Batman number 92, the punchline variant. Okay, I know I've got a few of these in there. Here is Batman 80, 
87. And Batman 92. And I got a few of those. Here's another. Okay. And here is Batman 52. Here's 55. And 53. And jumping up to 115. Lots of Batman books. Batman, Batman, Batman. Here is 96. And another 96. Joker War. Here's 98. Another 98. How funny. Punchline. I'm going to change your name to Knockout. Harley Quinn. That's pretty funny. Okay. Here is Batman 102. One zero three, <clears throat> one ten, and another one ten. Here's 108, Meet Miracle Molly. <clears throat> Why is she Miracle? I don't get that. I did read it and I didn't see why she was called Miracle Molly. Here's another one. And I actually have another one, like three of them. Here's 117. <clears throat> okay. The Brave and the Bold, number 27. From way back in the late 2000s. 2008, 9, something like that. Um, looks like we're going to run into some original series Batman stuff. Hush. This is 615. This is the Hush storyline, which was really super famous. I collected that really hard. 611. Go back to current series. 121. Okay, and I have two copies of 118. And here's the second copy. 
copy. 118. Here is 119. I have two copies of this. And this is this new character, Abyss. of that one. And now we're getting to the big book. We have Black Panther number three cover A. First appearance of Tozen. And these are all near mint. Basically unread condition near mint. One, two, three, and four. Four copies of that one. <clears throat> Here is Batman number 45. And I will take a minute to stop and take a break and let you in on a secret that I have learned on storing comics. If you've noticed, I'm putting one in with the trade, you know, the top of the book that way, and then the next one, the top of the book will be this way. I'm alternating the spine side every book. And it's important what bags and boards you use. I have found my favorite bags and boards are from Guardhouse. Um, you can look up just Google Guardhouse Comic Supplies. And they the Silver Age, the Silver Age bags and boards are what I, first I bag it in a current. I, I bag the book in a current bag and seal it. And then I put that inside of a Silver Age bag and board. And it pretty much takes up the whole width of the box. And you want the guardhouse bags and boards. The boards are flat. A lot of times when you get the BCW ones or whatever, they're like bowed. And uh, I don't like that. I want my boards flat as a board. So that it, and it covers the whole width of the book. The book does not overlap off of, you don't want to, you don't want to put your bags and boards in a current size board, in a current size bag, a current size bag and board, and put that in your box because it does this. Exaggerated, they sit like this inside the, inside the box. And what that does is it puts a crease in this bottom board. Like if you put them like this, if you put one down, a lot of people put one up, one down. If you have it like this and it's sitting in your box like this, you'll have a spine roll. It'll roll your this book on the bottom. I've had it happen, so I know for a fact. So I've come up, this is the best way to do it. Have the length of the board flattening the entire book so that you get no, no indentation, no crease from the book on top of it. Little hint. Nice full size silver bag and board. See this one's not even, this is not a guard house. Most of these aren't because I didn't start doing it until a little bit later actually. Like I know these are probably, these are guard house to where that the board fills the bag so that this thing will lay absolutely flat on top of this other one and it won't shift and you won't get no spine roll it'll keep it absolutely flat well that is my book tip 
back to back to the books. We have Batman 45. And yes, it's important to alternate the spine side so that they go up without doing this exaggerated, you know. They go up straight. Here's Batman 92, the punchline variant, another one. <coughs> Batman 21, New 52 era. Zero year. Here is Batman. It's a variant cover of 47. Okay. Batman 46. Batman 17. Batman 32. Batman 47. Batman 120. And we have another 120. <clears throat> Here is number 22. Number 48. Here's number two. Okay. Number eighty-nine. This is the first appearance or first cameo or whatever of punchline. It's either the first appearance or the cameo appearance or something like that. I don't know. It's an important book. Here's number 88. Number 90. <clears throat> number 17. Combo pack from the new 52 era. Combo pack. Annual number three. This is the new 52 annual, and it was written by James Tynan. Tinian, however you want to say it. Here is Batman, Night of the Owls, number nine. Night of the Owls will be made into a movie, uh, uh, animated series or something. So that whole entire story is going to be valuable, more valuable than it already is. Number 10. Here's Batman the Dark Knight, number 10. And here is Batman number 13 from the New 52. And I have a, I have a few of these. That's one. And here's another one. I'm sure I've got, I think I got like two more. To be honest. Okay. Here is number 33. Number 
part three. Number 111. One thirteen, this is a cool book, the art and this is amazing, the pencil work, this is Batman Black and White, number one, just amazing art. Okay. <clears throat> um, Batman, number 23.4. That's the holographic Bane cover. Prismatic. <clears throat> and here is Batman Superman, number 3.1. That's another one of those prismatic covers. Doomsday. Batman 23.3, Penguin, and here's another Batman number 21, Zero Year. Batman 113. And Batman number 5. And Batman 15. Lots of Batman in this one. Batman box. Number 42. Here is number 4. Number 96. I think this is my third one. And here's another 95. I like that cover. And here we have 114. And another 114. Number 97, here's 104, one zero six. And another 100, big square bound book. Yep. Batman 100. Okay. And you can see that's it. But I've definitely got plenty of room for more books. So I'm going to go grab. It looks like I could probably fit almost 10 more books in this box. So let me go grab some more books. Okay, I just went in and grabbed some random books. Avengers Forever, number 11. And I got another one of those. Okay. Avengers Forever, number 8.
The Avengers number 59. The Avengers number 58. Okay. And another number 58. Alright. I'll be back. I'm going to go grab a couple more books. Okay, these two should round it out. We have Avengers Forever number seven. Okay. And The Avengers 57. I think that is going to do it. That'll do it for that box. There we go. Let's see how nice and nicely uniform they are in there. Good for the long term. That is box number four.